And we are underway from Johnson Haygood Stadium. And this one in the back of the end zone, Campbell career. First and 10 for the Fighting Camels. Right back to work again. They'll hand it off up the middle. McDowell fighting for yards. And he's finally swallowed up. Baraka Beckett and obviously Quincy Jenkins. He's a captain, that right guard. Deep ball for Hodge Malik Williams. Over the top, he's got his man. First and 10. Man in motion for the Fighting Camels. They swing this one out wide. Room on the outside. Close to the pus. With a quick strike. Just a minute a change. Thing, I'm telling you. VJ Wilkins in the corner, a great block on the outside to contain the edge, but you can ability to distribute the ball to so many different weapons in this offense. It's a handoff up the middle, plunging to about the 30-yard line. Lamage McDowell again, 17 and 18. He's a load. They'll go right back, fake it to him. Hodge Malik Williams actually keeps it across the 40. Scampers out of bounds at about the... Big chunk plays for Campbell so far in the first quarter. Hodge Malik Williams airs it out. Over eight to go, first quarter. Hodge Malik Williams will keep it. Turns the corner and finds the end zone. Keeper. And Campbell goes up two scores. Watching your outside backer, he rolls down. It looks like he's in a great spot, but sometimes you just get out athleted. I mean, I'm telling you right now. Underwood sends Wallace. A bobbled exchange. It's loose on the turf. And Campbell says they have it. And they takes the snap. Good pocket for Hodge Malik. Thought about tucking it. Instead, he dumps it over the middle with McDowell. Escapes one tackler and dances. Hodge Malik Williams hands off. Into the end zone. Plunging forward is Mc. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? You know, body down in the red zone. I thought that they might look and target him again, but Lamaje McDowell. It's a 23 campaign. Maurice Drayton changing it up a little bit. Fletcher being flushed out of the pocket. Has to get rid of it. Throws it deep down the field. He's got it all the way to the end zone. And the first to Tyson Trottier on a touchdown strike from Dustin Fletcher. Takes the snap, looking, he'll roll, dumps it outside, top of your screen, caught. The moment that he decides to attack and rush the quarterback, he's able to dump it out in the flats for an easy first down. Wilkins makes the catch at the, at the top of the screen for Hodge Malik Williams. Good pocket, throws it, down the right side, this one jarred loose. It's on the Citadel side. Hodge Malik Williams takes the snap, looking. Fires deep over the middle, caught in the red zone. They jarred loose. Fletcher in this Citadel triple option offense. Quick touch pass to the outside, makes one move, and finally ushered. A little different look from the option here. Fletcher winds up, completes a pass across the 30. Everything. Williams pass compared Hassan Black miss on the outside to just keep moving that ball forward. Handoff plunging up the right side. It's 10. Hodge Malik Williams looking, fires. He's got his man again. Loves. Ball in the Citadel 35. Hodge Malik Williams <laughs> over the middle, stretching out for the catch again. And that Hodge Malik Williams takes the snap, fires, fade route, hauled in. You betcha. Hodge Malik Williams sends a man in motion, rolls out to his right. Hodge Malik Williams, plenty of speed. He'll keep it himself. And this guy, are you kidding me? Hodge Malik Williams, he fits the build on all four. He's taking a just make something with his legs. How many times have we seen that this afternoon? And again, because Nakari, um, to be the captain of this defense, a really special player. Fletcher, he'll keep this one to the second level. First and 10. Fletcher will hand off up the middle. Solid pickup that time on third and short. Sure. 
since Conway in motion. Fletcher, he'll pitch it, Conway, in trouble, and wrapped up and taken down. It's six for the Fighting Camels, pinned back deep in their own territory. Hodge Malik Williams tucks it. He'll go, gets to the outside, enough for the... Right back to Lamaje McDowell. He's got running room, look out, shakes and bakes and gets out to about midfield. In the second quarter, Hodge Malik Williams swings it out. VJ Wilkins ushered out of bounds. Six five wide receivers in as well. Hodge Malik Williams takes the snap, swings it to the outside. It's Javante Kenzie who makes the catch and the first. Second and ten, handoff. McDowell turns on the Jets and just continues to keep the legs churning. Hodge Malik Williams, he'll fire across the middle, caught for a touchdown. Ezariah Anderson pulls it in. The red shirt senior using that big six. It adds six more for the Fighting Camels. And they get the matchup they want, right? That's key. They get Anderson matched up with a safety in that. As Fletcher drops back again, winds up. Ricky Conway makes the reception, keeps the legs churning, and gets across the lined up with the talented Dominic Poole on the outside. Second and ten, up top, wide open, Azariah Anderson, still on his feet, tiptoes the sideline. Truly unfair that a guy that big can move that well. Rodgers burst through the seam that time and moved the sticks. That's 6'8", 355. Yeah, I'm running behind that mountain too. Fitzgerald catches and tiptoes the sideline for another touchdown and takes it to the house. Another defense, touchdown. You can't sit, but it's not possible with that outside block on the outside. There he is again. It was Shannon Henry clearing the way, paving the way for any. When those barracks close at night, you hear it clink a little bit. All of a sudden, it's just you with those thoughts. He needed to go find a coaching staff that blue and gloom outing, but his ability to catch the ball to the backfield. Underwood, deep shot. You betcha. Hold in down this. Underwood, Faye to the corner, and good coverage by the fighting. fighting Camels will take over from their own 22-yard line, and a throw across the middle complete again. Yeah, that's different Camels have hauled in receptions today. Hodge Malik Williams looking downfield, get fires, deep ball, caught again, tiptoeing down the... And McKay, left side, absorbs the contact. Until I held my breath because they go to that counter to the left side. It took the words right out of my mouth. Obviously looking for their first win of the season as Underwood winds up. Deep ball down the field. Intended for Dravon Pesford's portion of their schedule. Not just what they'll see in CAA play. And Ooh. Crawford the third again across the 40. Good pickup. First down. Hodge Malik escapes trouble, still on his feet. Hodge Malik Williams finally slides down <laughs> across the 30. But from a morale standpoint for your ball club, who's going to look like they keep wanting to play in this game and prove they can be the guy moving forward? Fletcher trying to go over the top, near of range, fourth and 12 for the Citadel. Fletcher over the middle. He's got his man in a fresh set of downs. Mike Minner when Campbell was a part of the Big South Conference. Remember, folks, how about Ernie making a downfield block on the handoff <laughs> to the outside? North Carolina native. Made a couple of starts last year. Handoff again. McKay bouncing his way to the outside. Excuse Mike Minter told us, you know, the goal was always the CAA. Handoff here. Nice stiff arm at about the 20. A lot on the recruiting trail for Mike Minner. Ernie, hands off. McKay looking for a seam. And a good pickup. Oh, win national championships. Coach Minner's done it. He doesn't sell it. He lives it. McKay up the middle, dragging defenders inside the 10. Ernie, hands off. Up inside the five, pushing his way at the... 
And Campbell tacks on. Little bend, don't break for the defense, but man, that offensive front just relentless. Took William and Mary, who's currently fourth in the latest FCS top 25 rankings to the wire just nine days ago. Clock ticking down. Little keeper. McIntosh looking for the marker. Ushered out of bounds for a loss here at the Citadel. Just an incredible stat. I don't know that I've ever heard that anywhere. We were talking with Coach Drayton, Jack, yesterday here in this one. Handoff up the middle. Running room. Look out. They'll go right back to him. His number called again and gang tackled across the 25. Today, a valley. You're going to learn a lot about yourself in those moments. And Taylor Wall, the third member of our broadcast crew, has head coach Mike Menner down on the field after the win. Of the Campbell Fighting Campbells, they win this one by a final score 56-7 in dominating fashion. We told you Hodge Malik Williams.